Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to use the Get Image AI API to perform image to image generation. In the previous video, I used the same API to perform text to image generation, where the user provides a text prompt and the model generates an image. So, if you have no idea about this Get Image API, I recommend you check out that video and the link is in the description. Now coming back to this collab notebook, I will first import some important modules. Then over here, I'm going to use my API key in the notebook. So you can get your get image API key from the platform itself. And I covered that how to retrieve your API key in the previous video. Let me run the cell as well. In Collab, we have a great feature of storing your secret key in a secure manner. So this is my secured API key, right? And this is the label I have provided to my API key. Similarly, you can have multiple API keys or passwords over here, and you can provide them some labels. And with the help of those labels, you can access them in your collab session and then since the task is to perform image to image generation we need to have an input image so i'm using this image input.jpg let me read this image and also it will be displayed over here so this is the input image in the image you can see there is a house and a car right couple of trees so it looks like a sketch made by some kid. Now, if you want to check the dimensions of the image, you can use this code. So this is the width of the image. 1280 and 720 is the height of the image. The next step would be to convert this input image into base64 text string. Because if you want to send this image over an API, you have to convert it into a string format. So this particular function will convert any image into base64 text string. So over here, I'm just going to pass my input image. I will pass the path of the input image over here and run the cell. So this is the base64 text string for this input image. Next, I will specify the prompt, right? So it's a pretty simple prompt, nothing fancy. And I just want to make the input image look more real. And this is optional negative prompt. Okay. And this is the model I'm going to use. This is the same model I used in the other video, but feel free to use any other model as well. There are over 80 different models available on get image platform that you can access with the help of api and over here you have to specify the input parameters that will be used uh, by the api and by the stable diffusion model to generate your image okay so first is the model id that we have already specified earlier then you have to pass the prompt negative prompt and then you also have to pass your input image in the string format after that we have other important parameters like strength number of inference steps guidance score all right and dimensions of the image as well so these are the same dimensions that we saw earlier okay so i recommend you use the same dimensions to get the best result you can change these parameter values as well if you want after that you have to specify the endpoint url for image to image task and this is the url okay so you can get a list of all these different endpoints and urls in the documentation of get image i'll put the documentation in the description And then this is also important. You have to specify the headers with your API key. And finally, I'm sending 
this endpoint headers as well as the input parameters through API to the stable diffusion model. And from the same API, I'll get a response that will be in string format as well. Okay. So the next task would be to convert that response or text string from base64 to image. So this code will help us in converting base64 text string to PIL image format. And finally, we can display the generated image from image to image model. And here you go. So this image looks a bit more real and better than the input image. Okay. Similarly, you can further fine tune the parameters. You can play with the strength value. Also, you can change the guidance score. You can increase or decrease the inference steps as well. And one more important thing, if you want to check the cost of generating this image, you can use this code. This cost value is attached to the response generated by the API. Let me run it. And this is in dollars. So it is even less than a cent. So you can see that this API is highly economical as far as image generation is concerned. And you can download this notebook from the description section and feel free to check out the other video on get image api where i generate an image from a text prompt thank you